Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 39, and this is war number six. And we're going to get against an alliance. I cannot say that name, so I am not going to try. Um, K-E-X-F-M. All right, let's uh, see who did they ban. Ghost, Quake, and... Kitty. All right, wait, what? Why am I seeing two globally banned attackers? Since when did they add? Oh, man. Anyway, I'm not the biggest fan of the banning system. And if they're expanding it so that you can ban even more, I'm not happy with that. But anyway. Uh, let's go in here and take a look at what we have. Soon you're going to be able to ban the whole team. You won't be able to use anything, but anyway. All right, so we've got Colossus and we've got Guardian. They both get armor ups. Gallon is going to tear them up. All right, we've got Omega Red here. Uh, not Omega Red, Omega Sentinel. Gallon could also take her, but we'll see... If uh, Mad Mardigan wants to do something there. Oh, what is going on? I just uh, got a new phone and huh, let's see. It says verify my identity. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Because I wanted to check real quick to see if um, if uh, Mad Mardigan had said anything about uh, taking uh, anyone, um, but because he usually takes that that node, and when I went over there, it told me, "Oh, you can't read that final message. You need to verify your identity." So. Ugh. Let me see. Chats. It's not asking me to um, do anything, though. But anyway, I guess I can uh, do that later. All right. So then we've got Hulkbuster and we've got Ultron and we've got... Nimrod. So uh, my standard team should be sufficient to handle all of that. Even if he wants me to take that Omega Sentinel, I can do that. Uh, I said Mad Mardigan, but I meant uh, Dipper. He takes path two there and he usually takes that node. All right. Let us get on with the fighting. All right. We are back and we're going in with the dream team. Gallon. Claire and Nebula. All right. So in this war, I do something for the first time, I believe, uh, that I've done it. And yeah, I can't remember if I've done this before, but more on that when we get there. All right. So this first fight is against Colossus. He's got armor up. That means he's gallon food. On this path, anybody that gets armor ups is gonna be gallon food. Just look at this. Yep. Just full hit combos. Look at my planetary mass. At any point in time, I can just hit that heavy. I could have ended it early. All right. I didn't have to do that last bit right there. He was gone. So I could have done that fight even faster, believe it or not. But. You know, if I had um, just hit him with the heavy, which would have pushed me to a special one, and then fire the special one right away, we would have gotten uh, done even faster. Colossus against Gallon on this path, not good. And now we've got Guardian. One of the things that is very annoying about Guardian is that auto block. Um, I believe when he has an armor up, he has a chance to auto block. But. Unfortunately for him, Gallon 
his specials, once he's uh, activated his harvest, is uh, unblockable. So it doesn't really matter. Okay. You can see I'm doing them five hit combos. And again, I could have ended it early there. Okay, heavy. Right into a nice little special one. And it's lights out. No block in that. Done and done. And I love Gallon. And on this path, I know it's not going to last forever. Of course, the meta is going to change. The nodes will change. Um, but for right now, I'm having a lot of fun uh, using Gallon. All right. So my boy Mad Mardigan already took down uh, the mini here. And so I used up, uh, you know, what energy I had. Get to the middle. And then we just wait, wait, wait until, boom, it's cleared like magic. All right. So now we're off to uh, uh, this next mini here. And uh, I remember when Omega Sentinel was a real pain on this, uh, this node here. Uh, I remember trying to take her with um, Spider-Man 2099 and I learned how to fight her and avoid the auto block uh, situation. So Spider-Man 29 could do it. Um, Titania can do it if you know how to fight against her. And of course, Gallon can do it. Okay, so you see I'm doing medium light medium, but when I parried, she got an armor up. That time she didn't, that time she did again. Okay, so I'm like, okay, I don't wanna parry anymore at that point. Now we need to bait out that special, get rid of some of those armor ups. Okay, kinda messed up my uh, timing here. Okay, look at she backed off like this was gonna help her. That ain't gonna help. Nope, not gonna help her at all. So even though it wasn't a perfect fight against her, who cares? We still rocked her world. Uh, in Battlegrounds, anytime I see her, oh, she gets tore up by Gallon. Just tore up. All right, so now, this one here, we've got Chitinous Thorns, right? And he does get armor ups. So we want to, uh, for the most part, stay in Curse of Blood or else that bleed will take us out quick. And you'll notice that I'm trying to not finish a five hit combo because sometimes the computer, AI, whatever, uh, it, it, the device, the game, it reads my last hit as a light attack rather than a swipe. And when that happens, it switches. And I may not survive long enough to get back. So instead of risking that, I was just doing four hit combos. It's just safer. All right. So now we've got Ultron. Now, the thing with this Ultron, he is awakened. All right. So I shouldn't have to worry too much about a lot of that. But when Ultron is awakened he will heal back some of the energy damage. And um, Claire gets, she, she all of her attacks are like energy. Now, Nebula, she does the energy, but she has so much damage that even with him healing back some of it, it's still gonna hurt him bad. All right, so I'm trying to build up right here because if I can get him with the uh, uh, max charges and then hit him with a, a special two, and I messed up there, as you can see. But look at, look at her heal. Yeah, that was a mistake. That wasn't what I was planning on doing. But if you notice, his health, it still did some work. So even though he is healing it, it's still effective. 
So I meant to build all the way up, parry and hit, you know, the special two. But, you know, I messed up. All right, that time I knew it wouldn't, um, what do you call it? Um, I wouldn't need to get a full charge, but I didn't get enough. Uh, one of the things that I forgot there was that not only does he heal up, but it reduces the duration. So you'll notice that I parried and then went right into a special and it still wasn't in time. That's his uh, thing. All right, now, for the first time, we're gonna not use Nebula. You can see here, I'm thinking about it. I'm swapping, I'm swapping. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna use Gallon. All right, I've already used him once before. And so I'm just doing medium light mediums, normal stuff, building him up, okay? All right, now you notice that I dexed at the end there, right? You saw the dexterity pop up, all right? But then that happened. So apparently I forgot how to dex. See, I'm not gonna complain about the inputs. I just forgot how to dex. So you notice there, I just block. Cause I'm like, I don't know what's going on. And then that happened. I was like, what? What just happened? See, now I'm scared. I'm like, what, what, what do I do? I tried to hit him with a heavy and, and I'm like, okay. And that was it. Towards the end, I choked and I wasn't able to actually control my character. A lot of time when you saw me parry and just stand there, I was trying to hit him with a heavy attack so I could activate my harvest and it wasn't working. And so I'm like frozen now. I'm like, okay, I don't know what to do. I tried to hit him with a heavy. He countered it with a special. Okay. Maybe I was, uh, this guy has limber. Maybe, you know, I just had the timing off. But then, you know, it was just too many things in a row that happened. So for the first time, I believe this season, I died. That's what I was referring to as a first time. Um, I don't remember if I've died previously, but I believe that's the first time this season that I've died. And I was not happy, let me tell you. Um, because of that, I'm probably not going to use Gallon on a Nimrod again on that node, even though I did it in a previous war and it worked just fine. But Nebula takes him out every single time. So we're just gonna stick with Nebula when we see Nimrod on that path or on that node. All right, we're gonna be back and you will find out how this war ended. And we're back, and unfortunately we lost this war. Now, I wanna point out something. Um, there were several things that happened. If you'll look at the bottom left-hand corner, this is the first war of the season that we are in tier two. We won the last war, we moved up to tier two, and a few of us did not realize that. So there were mistakes made that, um, because it changed, the uh, a couple of nodes, I believe. Uh, and because they didn't notice that, they went in with a particular counter and they weren't really prepared for the fight. So gave up some deaths that they would not have ordinarily given up. And then of course I died. So I'm sure uh, more than one person missed the fact that we were now a uh, tier two. But because we lost this one, we're going back to tier Three. All right, so as you can see here, we got rocked. So I don't feel bad for my one death. As you can see, we died a lot. And I have a feeling it was because people didn't realize we were in tier two and brought like the wrong counters or went into the fight thinking that it was the old nodes and it wasn't and stuff like that. All right, but congrats to our MVPs. And that is gonna do it 
Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.